What does Nancy Grace know? I'm saying, what the hell does Nancy Grace know? I love, yeah, I do. I love Nancy Grace. Yes, I do. I, that's, in fact, a figure of speech. That's a play on words. It's, it's just a joke. Uh, like, subscribe, ID in the Discovery Channel. Yes, ID in the Discovery Channel. The links are provided below. Get that Discovery Go app as well as that ID Go app. You might want to get those two and combine them together and make them into one. Dear precious love. That being Natalie Wood, to be specific. But yes, Nancy Grace. When I made that joke in the opening about what does uh, Nancy Grace know. Over Natalie Wood being dead. Nancy Grace, in fact, has her own podcast. Yes, she does. Nancy Grace, the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because Nancy Grace, she, in, in fact, feels that um, when it comes to, like, the corner, the coroner's office and say how... When people die, you have a coroner's office and they might do the job, but they don't do it specifically in the way that they're supposed to do it. Do it manually in the way that they're supposed to do it. Get it right just enough to point in the direction of specifics of who did what, who killed, who did what, who killed what and why, right? I'm sorry for my phone doing that. It does that all day. Who did what, who killed who and why? That's Nancy Grace's position in relation to Natalie Wood being dead and gone. And if anybody surrounding a natalie wood during that time when she was yeah died if anybody close to her could have did that sort of thing because you can't yeah you can in fact pull uh dna from if a person is dead you can look on their body the observation and going up underneath pulling tissues and all that other stuff from yeah that has come from other because sometimes when people die before they do and say there's a struggle or a fight or something like that or them just trying to get away from somebody that's about to kill them or murder them right and that person before they die know it's it's happening or on the way right sometimes they yes put up a fight struggle with that but they also can be known to claw which is why nancy grace stands in her position of being mad and upset yeah in relation to doctors in the coroner's office and them not checking fully up under Natalie Wood's fingernails to see if there was any t t tissue there from anybody she might have, yes, gotten to a tussle or a struggle with and getting away from them or any of that. Because there, there have, in fact, been rape victims that, yeah, all type of individuals that try to run away from people. And as they're doing it, they claw all the way in the other individual's skin to not be killed. Or even if they're suffocating or something, somebody holding a bag or something over their head or something like that, they will claw and all that, right? Those signs can be found and used as evidence to put somebody in jail for life or possibly up underneath the jail. So, yes, Nancy Grace, in fact, went head to head with a former Los Angeles coroner whom she feels botched. Yes, botched Natalie Wood's autopsy. As husband of Wood, yes, the hu let me restate this again. Let me get this right so I don't botch it my own self with my own words with that. Nancy Grace went head to head with a former Los Angeles coroner whom she feels botched Natalie Wood's autopsy. As the husband of Natalie Wood, Robert Wagner was and is, yes, even in today, 2018, standing questionable despite uh, people feeling and sensing he's been cleared from being viewed as a, as a suspect and all the rest. Because to say that nobody's in jail is to say, well, who did what and why? And yet to remain questionable, Robert Wagner, the husband, husband himself, but Natalie Wood is to say, well, Nancy Grace's position and her being heated with that, right? She really wants to find the killer is what I'm saying outside of her uh, expressing where her podcast is we get to that later but yes and nancy grace her podcast titled fatal voyage the mysteries death of natalie wood in the podcast uh, nancy grace herself expressed dr thomas naguchi must be asian naguchi nagauchi naguchi right N-O-G-U-C-H-I, I say Noguchi. So she expressed Noguchi made childlike errors, errors in the ruling of Natalie Wood's death. 
a drowning by accident as it was stated that that was her cause of death a drowning by accident was the cause of death supposedly after Natalie Wood died there's going to be always issues with that as in it all being viewed suspect and not right or something the problem that there's a problem with that and even then and even nancy grace feel that which is why she called it out so grace nancy grace in fact feels uh dr naguchi failed to scrape under natalie wood's fingernails for tissue during the post-mortem grace mentioned this info on once again on her fatal voyage podcast because she yeah that that's in fact promotion the art form of nancy grace on in doing the shows in which uh yeah and releasing them in relation to natalie wood to sell herself nancy grace along with the argument but even that has to be used in examination because see, even nancy grace might in fact have a point i just stated it in the opening that would have been a good deed on the corners and yet for them to fail to do that is to ask why why or why not and why wait so late for somebody to come out and say that That, that is so because yeah I, I i think with uh somewhere around 1980 1981 is where natalie would the time frame of when she died you may it, it, you'd be like well where was the common sense of the people even back then why did it take a nat a nancy grayson why this long it's 2018 that happened way back in the 1980s natalie would yeah dying like that people don't pay attention enough they don't recognize enough the awareness Nancy Grace is real cool. Yeah, she's a real cold one on her game, Nancy Grace. She keep it real blunt and all that, and she should. She's outspoken where people fail to be. That's good. Speaking up, being a voice for others. So nails, yes, more nails and skin. Grace, yes, Nancy Grace stated it's highly elementary that you scrape the nails. I've witnessed it being done. That's what Nancy Grace is saying. That's what she called the doctor out on. She feels that it's highly intram elementary that that she's basically saying that should have been the very first number one you the doctor should have done dear Dr. Naguchi with that. That's the elementary tactic that should have been number one scraping the woman's nails. Natalie Wood. Uh, Nancy Gray stated again I've witnessed it being I I've witnessed it done the scraping of the nails during postmortem. Hmm. That just don't. That don't. What? Because see, then you're gonna have to go all the way back to the time frame of, during the time frame of when Natalie Wood was living, and then she died, right? In the manner that she did, is to say, well, what was the sciences at play even back then? Because I know that technology comes later to say, okay, you advance on the game much more later, driving forward, making moves forward in a forward manner and direction, right? And yet you possibly didn't have all the skill and tactic even back then to consider possibly going up under Natalie Wood's nails in the scraping process and process and you being a coroner's office. And yet I'm sensing something is off about that because I even stated how we have NASA and the man going to the moon. Didn't that happen in 1979? Did Neil Armstrong fly to the moon, one of the first men on the moon in 1979? I think I got that wrong or right. Somebody correct me on that. Leave the comment and correct me on the year specifically. Neil Armstrong. Do I even got his name right? Shouts out to Discovery. Discovery, call me on the line and let me know because I'm messing up already on the game. Four wheel drive, possibly so. Maybe not right. But to say that the man on the moon was around right before the 19. 80s and then you got people fell in to scrape this woman's fingernails is to say well man a space shuttle the space shuttle carrying people up in the atmosphere far away that was way completely technologically advanced way back then and yet a coroner's office wasn't so maybe something was maybe it was covered up or something i'm saying maybe there was a cover-up behind all this death murder and all the rest because yeah 
money when it's money and all the rest you don't never know who done covered up what because that that's too much nasa nasa was way beyond its own even way back then and then we got self-driving cars here in 2018 that shit might in fact feel yeah on the end of elon and tesla that those self-driving cars should have been a possibility even way back then in the 80s interesting what comes later but it just seems like it seems like the coroner's office on Natalie Woods and just skimmed through her body or something. As it as if it didn't exist or something. As if her body was as if Natalie Woods body was partially there. That's what it seemed like the coroner's office did. Because see, for her to be what she was. Even back then is to say, usually based upon status is to say that person is going to be the number one individual that's completely not overlook but look more closer into because who they are who they are and even more so if they got money so for her to not yeah i'm so glad that even nancy grace addressed that nancy grace being the individual to address that because it shows that even when people uh have some level of status and money is to say well some situations uh in fact become mishaps as in people overlooking where they should be playing their part in relation to their job doing it right it's not always done right just because of the name famous people bill cosby just went to jail so that shows you a lot but yeah so that is in fact vital that's what nancy grace feels and i agree she feels tests being conducted in the right way may have exposed real proof and evidence that natalie would struggle with an attacker before her body met a watery grave by ways of falling in that's what nancy gray said if everything was conducted the way that it was supposed to the proof would be there with the right test in the corner doing what they were supposed to enough to gain enough evidence yeah the show if there was the attacker there an attacker as well as what all went on because even bodies can point out that in description as if you put up a fight with somebody and then you die it's to say even on the body there's going to be proof somewhere of what type of fight went on and possibly the man who did it even with no dna you don't even know because even crimes have been solved with no dna and all the rest being there and yet the the fight was in fact included on the body the scrapes and all the other you don't even know because sometimes people have in fact be being have in fact been being abused before they even got killed and that can point to a direction too if there was an attacker or not there's so much to this so death of natalie wood in a boat even in 2018 wood's death points to mystery the tragedy occurred while abroad yes a pleasure cruise to catalina's island of california I guess I shouldn't have used, I guess I shouldn't have used the term abroad, but it was aboard. It in fact was aboard and not abroad. So yes, her her death, yeah, in fact. On that cruise ship. It wasn't a cruise ship, it was more like a like a boat. Scour the net for Natalie Wood and you will know what I'm speaking on. I call everything a cruise ship, and yet it, it wasn't. A pleasure cruise. Look that up as well. It helps to be resourceful, I said that. But yes, yeah, she was in fact aboard on a pleasure cruise to Catalina's Island of California. She was in fact with her husband, Robert Wagner, which is why, yeah, even Nancy Grace questioned the man himself. She was on there with not only the husband, but a close friend of theirs too, by the name of Christopher Walken. That was back in 1981. November 1981 to be specific on that. That's messed up. I don't like stuff like that. How people be killed or whatever with that, right? And then all it is is the mystery. As they've been laid to rest in some type of shallow grave or something. That's not a respecter of life. It's just That just don't seem right. So the conclusion. Is it out of the ordinary, the conclusion? Three days after uh, Natalie Wood died, the doctor himself in a corner by, yes, the name of Dr. Noguchi once again, gave the final announcement. Yes, declaring uh, her death as a tragic accident while slightly intoxicated. And yet there still seem like there's something more to this story. It just doesn't seem like that her death was just a tragic accident. 
yeah while slightly intoxicated as it's been ruled by those two individuals right it just don't seem like that it seemed like something else more could have been there and possibly abuse or something either physically or emotionally or one of the two if if a question if a husband or someone or whoever is in question of that sort of thing so who was his other friend in relation to the say yeah being included on the boat with the husband because you don't never know what was the reason for the performance or even say if somebody one of those two individuals killed her as in the intention of why because for two people to be on a boat and possibly two grown men or maybe a woman or a man is to say well who's to say you can even pick around that as in pick apart the scraps with that as in i can i would and i should but it will make the video too long because if Natalie Wood was, uh, yeah, who she was, some people try to live off of other people's fame. Some people try to get gain recognition off that and say if they killed somebody or something like that. And then another man is involved with that, the friend that was on the boat back November 1981 or whatever specific time period. And that individual was with her husband while this uh, death of Natalie Wood took place is to ask why. Why would somebody want her dead to begin with? What? What? No, more than anything, question the motive, ulterior motives. What purpose would it serve her being dead to one of one or two of those individuals that was on that same, uh, yes, boat as Natalie when she, yeah. What? What was the point in that? Death when it comes later and you're being found found in some shallow type of grave or watery grave with that what was a motive because some people yeah a lot of times don't have the right right intention for even marrying you thinking they're going to gain something later kill you off and then gain something your resources and money and all the rest right i just don't feel too safe with that i mean I'm not saying i'm paranoid but it just seemed like stuff happened like that when it's a boyfriend and, and a friend involved in a situation with a woman or something or yeah a friend and a husband involved and they go somewhere and then somebody ends up dead i'd be one to look all around that to say well yes yeah, so it might in fact be some clues in that and which even her husband didn't tell because some people marry people and don't even like them to begin with that's to ask why okay so despite all which occurred in 2011, Wood's case was uplifted from the grave, and it should have been, by being reopened. They, in fact, yes, brought the case back as in reopened it back in the year of 2011. And the cause of death was altered once again. Because all that is written as and recorded when you say, well, she's, she died by tragic accident while slightly intoxicated. That's to say they changed that once again yeah around the year 2011 yeah once again they changed it to her dying by ways of tragic accident while slightly intoxicated they changed that to saying her cause of death was drowning and other undetermined factors did you get that drowning and other undetermined factors we should say there's more likely more to this story and it was since the beginning of time and even they had to have known that that's a yeah that's in fact a knife to the coffin closing let me tell you that's sad so police named robert wagner natalie wood's husband they named him a person of interest in wood in wood's death to be specific her very own husband and yet to be a person of interest and yet there's no body behind the four walls of a jail is to say well okay well who killed her who killed Natalie Wood? That was so long ago. That's just an unsolved mystery that just lays as it will. The things that people get away with and why God allow them to do so. I wonder if God even operate. More likely, no, God doesn't operate like us human beings. And yet I'm thinking God doesn't. The way that we see or perceive God or something might not even be the way we think it is or something because something is not right about all these murders and these unsolved mysteries it's not right i'm saying 
something don't seem it seems strange and the oddly uh yeah it's odd uh with yeah with that in relation to um all this mess murders people just being killed and dying for whatever reason as in no reason stands underneath it i just don't think god i think we've been told something i won't say a lie but i i think somewhere in it mouths yes people's the mouth of various individuals all across the land since the beginning of time is not telling us something in which they should because all these murders like this and gruesome at that is to say well man such and such got off like i said in my family uh one of my family members in fact got themselves yeah they're they're uh in love and dating a serial killer that was released from jail it's to say once again how does god feel about that possibly none i don't think god feel the way that we do so the devil speaks to watch that it's in fact click now you can see the id logo up in the far left corner uh live now is in fact what lies beneath you got recommended for you shouts out to paula a description awaits you on each one of these videos to click on the plus sign is to add to your favorites evil lives here homicide hunter lieutenant joe kenda blood relatives twisted sisters unlike episodes american monster season three yes episode 10 you can in fact roll over the description add to watch later by clicking the plus sign click here for a preview you will in fact be served the goods with that i always call them the goods i'm just scrolling through very quickly to shorten the video up on the mark on last night to click the key is to gain access by providing your provider as in who you in fact shop with through the tv screen you're going to provide that to get access to be able to preview any one of these that has a lock on them it will let you through but if you don't provide that you're going to be locked out there's no great advantage in that let me tell you unlock series shows of all kinds on a slow unwind and rewind with that id original yes id go original series pardon me to be yeah doing this over and over as i say i shouldn't be messing up and yet sometimes i do right helps to be human schedule preview support save the children's hurricane relief efforts to do just that is to click right here on the donate here it helps to save and rescue others outside of yourself especially needy people that need you that's why humanity has been placed here on earth as a whole so the crime feed yes crime feed news crime feed.com to click right here either on cosby's face or right here yeah either one of the two is to be directed on the outside the crime feed.com full of all news of suspects uh rape victim situations the stories with that as in who's guilty and who's not and why and all the rest missing children's stories all that is at play on the crime feed.com news feed to receive a newsletter is in fact type in your email address address and click next you will not in fact see the next button because i'm in fact blocking it my face is my square my square head spongebob square head something like that yeah so i think that's all to be said for now leave me a comment in the comment section what do you think about Natalie Wood's situation? Who you feel murdered her? If you never heard of her before, won't you take the time to get to know her? That's a good entertainment lesson on your end, as in when you're bored, to look up random people you never heard of, to see what their life is about or was about before they were killed. Some people dragged and drowned and all that and people not saying right. You should want to know the stories and the detail because it can help save somebody life on your own and if they get involved in a relationship or abusive relationship or just not wanting to be somewhere period and getting out it helps to spread awareness on that so yeah hope you enjoy the rest of your day i'm enjoying mine and that is all to be said for now i'm gone